Since World War II, tanks have continued to get larger, faster, and more sophisticated. Today, we'll be taking a look at the Megatron Challenger II battle tank, the K2 Black Panther, and much more. Here are the top 15 biggest battle tanks ever built. Number 15, M1 Abrams. The M1 Abrams is an American main battle tank, which with a weight of 68 tons, is one of the heaviest tanks currently in use around the world. The first model entered service in 1980, having been designed at Chrysler Defense, and has been a regular site on battlefields ever since, including Afghanistan, Iraq, Egypt, and Yemen. Building on the previous generation of tanks, the M1 Abrams incorporated a multi-fuel turbine engine, composite armor, computer-controlled weapon system, and enhanced safety features for the crew and in recent years has been further upgraded with the latest optics, firepower, and armor technologies. The main weapon on the recent variants of the tank is a Rheinmetall 120mm L44 smoothbore gun that can be used to fire a variety of different shells and is backed up by a 50 caliber heavy machine gun and two M240 machine guns. A fourth machine gun can also be installed as part of the remote weapons platform above the main turret and the fire control computer that helps target enemies. Incredibly, with all this on board, the gas turbine that generates 1,500 shaft horsepower enables the M1 to reach speeds of up to 45 miles per hour, so it's no wonder that it's been credited with changing the face of countless battles over the years. Number 14. King Tiger The King Tiger was a designation the Allies used for a German tank developed during the Second World War that was called the Kunitztiger, which actually translates to mean the Royal Tiger. It was the second version based on this design, and at just over 24 feet long and 12 feet wide, this giant weighed in excess of 70 tons depending on its configuration. It was protected at its front with armor that was up to 7.3 inches thick and was equipped with an 88mm KWK-43 L71 tank gun, along with two 7.92mm machine guns. Able to achieve speeds of just over 25 miles per hour, it was the most expensive tank the Germans had put into production near the end of the war with an equivalent cost of $4.2 million per vehicle in today's money. Planned to support the German heavy tank battalions on all fronts, the intent was to build at least 1,500 of them, but this would be so devastating to Allied actions that huge resources were dedicated to destroying the factory where they were made, and meant that, in the end, less than a third of the order was completed. Those that did make it to the battlefield were tragically effective, with the 103rd SS Heavy Panzer Battalion managing to kill around 500 people between January and April of 1945, with the loss of just 45 King Tigers, most of which were destroyed by their own crews after breaking down or running out of fuel. Number 13, Leclerc Main Battle Tank. The Leclerc Main Battle Tank first entered service in the French Armed Forces in 1991 and has since become the main armored platform used by their military in all campaigns. They're no longer in production, however, and there's a total of 406 of them in the French Army and 388 that are used by the United Arab Emirates Army. Weighing in at just under 60 tons, it's a huge vehicle that measures 32 feet long, including its main 120mm tank gun, and almost 12 feet wide. As well as the main turret, the Leclerc is also equipped with a 12.7mm M2HB machine gun, and a 7.62mm machine gun, and a V8X 8-cylinder diesel engine that allows it to reach speeds of up to 44 miles per hour. As well as its impressive armaments, the tank has several other features that improve its effectiveness. These include the way it doesn't emit smoke during acceleration, and an engine that never heats to above 370 degrees, which reduces its infrared signature. An infrared decoy system, smoke grenades to help conceal it from the enemy, self-sealing fuel tanks, and composite armor modules that allow them to take serious poundings without showing any signs of damage. We're happy to announce today's video is sponsored by World of Tanks, a popular online strategy game featuring epic tank battles and mayhem. You must work as a team to command the battlefield and ultimately defeat the enemy forces. It's free to play and features a huge arsenal of historically accurate tanks that you can play and master. With over 160 million active players worldwide, join the action today using the link in the description. Use the coupon code TANKTASTIC for additional perks, including the T-127 tank, 500 gold, and 7 days of premium access. Thanks again to Wargaming and World of Tanks for sponsoring today's video. Number 12. Megatron Challenger 2 The Challenger 2 tank, often referred to as Megatron, is a main battle tank used by British troops and is one of the most effective tank designs used by any military force. 
It entered service in 1998 as a replacement for Challenger 1 and is likely going to be the last of its kind since traditional battlefield equipment is being replaced by technologies fit for wars of the 21st century. At just over 44 feet long, including its 120 mm rifled gun, and just under 14 feet wide, the Megatron weighs at least 75 tons, but can be up to 10 tons heavier with certain configurations. Along with its main turret, it also has a coaxial 7.62 mm L94A1 chain gun, a 7.62 mm L37A2 machine gun, and is powered by a 26.1 liter V12 engine that gives it a top speed of 37 miles per hour. On one tank of fuel, it can travel up to 340 miles, meaning it's able to access some of the most remote regions on Earth to provide support. As a recent design, the Megatron includes some of the latest technology, such as digital fire control computer with laser rangefinder, eight periscopes to give it a 360-degree field of vision, and night vision capabilities. It's protected by second-generation Chobham armor, which, while the details of its exact makeup are classified, is thought to be at least twice the strength of steel. And there are several smoke grenade dispensers to help it hide its location, and an inbuilt nuclear, biological, and chemical protection system to protect the crew from all threats they may encounter. Number 11, T-28 Super Tank. The enormous T-28 Super Tank was a heavily armored tank that was created by the U.S. Army for use during the Second World War. Strategists realized that they needed heavy artillery to help break through solid German defenses, or potentially for a planned invasion of Japan, which is the role they envisaged for the 100-ton T-28, although in the end only two prototypes were ever built. They were 36 feet and 6 inches long, 14 feet 11 inches wide, and just over 9 feet tall and with a Ford-built V8 engine could accelerate to a top speed of 8 miles per hour. Everything in the design was chosen to puncture through fortifications and be able to withstand heavy fire, however. So the T-28 was equipped with a 105mm T-5E1 tank gun that was extremely accurate and effective against concrete, along with a powerful 50 caliber heavy machine gun. Number 10, K-2 Black Panther. The K-2 Black Panther is the main battle tank used by the South Korean military. And with each one costing as much as eight and a half million dollars, it's one of the most expensive tanks used by any military in the world. The result of an upgrade project that began in 1995, the first K-2s entered service in 2014, and as you'd expect, take advantage of the latest technological developments. At 35 feet, five inches long, 11 feet and 10 inches wide, and weighing in at 61 tons, the K-2 is equipped with a Hyundai WIA 120 mm 55 caliber smoothbore tank gun, along with a 50 BMG K-6 heavy machine gun and a 7.62 mm coaxial machine gun. It has a 12-cylinder diesel engine that lets it travel at speeds of up to 43 miles per hour and can accelerate from zero to 20 miles per hour in an impressive seven seconds. It's designed to cross virtually any terrain that it will encounter and has computer systems that calculate the ideal orientation to cross obstacles, as well as a latest fire design control system. Full details of the composite armor used remain classified, but it's thought to be able to easily sustain continual strikes by 120 millimeter rounds, while it has a soft kill anti-missile system to protect against incoming missiles. Furthermore, it has a radar warning receiver and a radar jammer, laser warning receivers, and the Korean Active Protection System, which protects it from anti-tank threats. Cleverly, the K-2 has also been designed to allow for regular upgrades, such as non-explosive reactive armor and the replacement of the machine guns with electrothermal and chemical guns if needed. Number 9. The M26 Pershing Entering service in 1945, the M26 Pershing became an important heavy battle tank for the U.S. military and was used in some of the final battles of World War II, as well as during the Korean War. At just over 28 feet long and 11 feet 6 inches wide, it weighed 46 tons and was surprisingly agile with a top speed of 30 miles per hour. Its main weapon was a 90 mm M3 tank gun, which was supported by two Browning 30 machine guns and a Browning 50 caliber machine gun. But despite the optimism about its use on battlefields, it was found to struggle with hilly and muddy terrain, so it was replaced in 1951 by the M46 Patton. Still, 2,202 of them were built, and various configurations were possible to adapt them to the situations they would be facing. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Merkava Mark IV The Merkava Mark IV is the latest version of the main battle tank used by the Israeli Defense Forces and was developed to be a mobile weapons platform. 
At just under 30 feet long and 12 feet wide, it weighs more than 70 tons, and along with its four crew, can carry six passengers. The Mark IV entered service in 2004 with a 120mm main tank gun that can fire a range of ammunition, and a 12.7mm machine gun, two 7.62mm machine guns, and an MK-19 grenade launcher, a 60mm internal mortar, and an armament of smoke grenades. With a 1500 horsepower turbocharged diesel engine, it can travel at up to 40 miles per hour, meaning it can reach battle zones quickly, and is specifically designed for the terrain of Lebanon and the Golan Heights that are covered in basalt rock that can interfere with traditional caterpillar track mechanisms. The armor is modular, so can easily be replaced if it's damaged. It's also covered in anti-reflective paint to reduce its radar signature, and shields the engine plumes to reduce its infrared signature too. Comfort has also been at the forefront of the design, and it's fitted with an efficient air conditioning system and even toilet facilities to allow the crew to embark on extended missions. Number 7. TOG-2 As the battlefields of the Second World War began to evolve, military scientists around the world began preparing new designs to cover every eventuality. One fear was that the war in France would begin to be fought on mud, trenches, and craters in a similar way to what happened in the First World War. So the British came up with the TOG-2 main battle tank, which is an upgrade of the TOG-1. It was just over 33 feet long and 10 feet wide, and weighed a massive 81.3 tons. It was covered in thick steel armor and was equipped with a 76.2mm main gun, along with a 7.92mm machine gun. In theory, the TOG-2 was able to travel at up to 15 miles per hour. But the design was eventually mothballed because the conditions it was intended for never arose. In the end, only one prototype was ever built, and it never saw action apart from in testing. Number 6. Russian T-90 The Russian-made T-90 battle tank is probably one of the most recognizable military machines in the world, having been an integral part of their battlefield contingent since it was first introduced in 1993. It's fitted with a 125mm 2A46 smoothbore gun, as well as a 12.7mm heavy machine gun, and a 7.62mm machine gun. And with a 12-cylinder diesel engine, the 51-ton vehicle can travel at up to 37 miles per hour. T-90s have a so-called three-tier protection system. The first stage is this composite armor in the turret made from aluminum and plastics. The second stage is a covering of explosive reactive armor. And the third stage is a packing of active countermeasures that include infrared jammers, smoke grenade discharge systems, and a nuclear, biological, and chemical protection system. Further upgrades can also be added, such as an electromagnetic counter mine system and a signature reduction suite to further hide it from enemy forces, making this one of the most adaptable tank designs ever to enter a battlefield. Number 5. T-30 Heavy Tank with the development of huge battle tanks by the Germans during World War II, Allied forces found themselves in need of equally as powerful machines, something that led to the creation of the T-30 heavy tank by the U.S. military. This behemoth was more than 42 feet long, 12 and a half feet wide, and almost 11 feet tall, and was equipped with a 155mm T-7E1 L-40 rifled gun, along with two 50 caliber machine guns and two 30 caliber machine guns. When fully loaded, it weighed at least 86 tons, traveled at up to 23 miles per hour, and was covered in steel armor that was between 4 and 12 inches thick. Construction began on the T-30 in 1945, but since the war ended soon after, only two of them were ever completed. They never had a chance to enter battle, but if they had, they would have certainly been a force to be reckoned with. Number 4. Leopard 2A7 the Leopard 2 is a main battle tank that was developed for use by German forces from 1979 and proved to be so effective that it's still regularly deployed to this day. It's almost 33 feet long, 12 feet wide, and weighs a minimum of 68 tons, with a main 120mm Rheinmetall L55 smoothbore gun and two 7.62mm MG3 A1 machine guns. The V12 twin turbo diesel engine produces 1,479 horsepower that enables the tank to accelerate to 42 miles per hour and various different versions are available. The 2A7, for example, is designed with extra cooling systems, a mobile camouflage system, and passive side defense armor, proving that the Leopard can be adapted for any situation it may encounter. Number three, Jag Tiger. The Jag Tiger, which translates to mean hunting tiger, was a heavy battle tank used by the Germans in the Second World War for one specific purpose, to hunt and destroy other tanks. To do this effectively, it was encased within armor that was at least 3.84 inches thick and had some serious weaponry, including a main 12.8 centimeter Pac-44 L55 tank gun and a 7.92 millimeter MG34 machine gun. 
It was a monstrous vehicle, measuring in at 35 feet long and 12 feet wide, and was at least 79 tons, depending on its configuration. Of course, this size meant that it moved relatively slow, with a top speed of just 21 miles per hour. But when the Jag Tiger showed up on the battlefield, it virtually prevented the ability for enemy tanks to operate, because they'd almost certainly be destroyed. Number 2. Japanese Type 90 the Japanese Type 90 battle tank is one of the main tanks used by the country's Ground Self-Defense Force and first entered service in 1990. It's just over 32 feet long and 11 feet wide and weighs in excess of 55 tons. Equipped with a Rheinmetall 120mm smoothbore main tank gun with an automatic self-loader, along with an M2HB 12.7mm machine gun and a Type 74 7.62mm machine gun, it has proved to be highly effective at a range of combat roles. In total, 341 of them have been produced, each with an approximate cost of $7.4 million. But one of the main criticisms of the Type 90 has been its weight, which makes many of the country's bridges impossible. The plan is, therefore, to replace them all with a new, lighter design, the Type 10, a process that's been ongoing since 2010. Number 1. Panzer 8 Maus The German-built Panzer Kampfwagen 8 Maus was quite simply the largest battle tank to have ever been produced and it's fortunate that the first was only ready towards the end of the Second World War, because if they had been introduced earlier, things could have ended very differently. At 33 and a half feet long and 12 feet wide, the real threat posed by the mouse was the armor it was covered in, which was at a minimum six inches thick. It contributed towards the vehicle's overall weight of 207 tons. Just as frightening was its main gun, which was a 128 millimeter KWK-44 gun, and was also fitted with a 75mm KWK-44 howitzer-type gun and a 7.92mm machine gun. The problem the designers faced was creating a drivetrain capable of moving this monster that was small enough to actually fit inside it. And the answer was an MB-509 V12 petrol engine that allowed the mouse to travel at up to 12 miles per hour. The idea was that it would be able to punch through enemy lines without taking any damage but its cumbersome weight posed challenges across the terrain it was meant to operate on. It was too heavy to use bridges, for example, it had to be designed to ford rivers to a depth of up to 6 feet and 7 inches, but could also be fully submerged up to 26 feet deep in water, with an extendable snorkel that would provide air during this time. Fortunately for Allied troops, only two of these tanks were ever made, one of which wasn't fully completed, and following the end of the war, what remained of them was captured by Soviet forces. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.